Yeah, notwithstanding that the class will be recorded. So for whatever reason, and sometimes things come up, you'll have access to it. Should you, you know, um, have any little issue where that is concerned, okay? All right, this one, just give me one second here. Okay, so um, as I mentioned before, welcome to the class. And indeed, um, I, I am your, your lecturer for the semester for both the lecture and the lab. All right, my name is Dr. Patrick Campbell. And in terms of my background, well, I did my BS at Morehouse College in Atlanta, and then I did my PhD in immunology um, in biomedical sciences, specifying in immunology, particularly in the area of HIV research. Um, so that was my area of research. And then I was over there, I was feeling cold and Costa had given me a call and I was too glad again to come into the warm weather down here. That would sound in that, what do I like? I like cricket, even though West Indies give, likes to give you a little heart failure now and again, both the men and the women. Morning, sir. I still follow them. And um, uh, it's always good in that regard, you know, to have something other than just plain school. So before we go any further, I would like for you to introduce yourself if you would. Um, when I call your name, just give me your, your name, something you like to do. That is, your name where you're from. Generally, you don't have to be too specific. You can be no street address and all of that. That's your general area. You could say north, south, east, or west. Where you're from and something you like to do that is not illegal, immoral, or fattening. All right? So let me just go through the roll and we take it from there. Okay, roll call. Uh, SNF21140. Okay, let's go. Chanel? Hi, good morning. All right, if you would just introduce yourself, give your name, where you're from, and something you like to do that is not illegal, immoral, or fattening. <laughs> good morning, everyone. My name is Chanel Adams Prokop. I'm from Central, and something that I like to do is to dance. Oh, that is good. Modern, what type of dance? Top, modern? Any type. Any, any type, type. Any type. That is very <laughs> good. Thanks very much, you know. No problem. All right. Uh, Keisha. Hi, Hi good morning, everyone. Oh, sorry, Keisha Antoine. Antoine, yes. Hi, good Hi. morning, everyone. Um, my name is Keisha Antoine. I'm from the Arima area, and I like to be... What are you saying? What's the best thing you could bake, Keisha? Um, cupcakes. What you saying? If we were in person, we could have cupcakes for everybody. I would have sponsored it, you know, in terms of birthday or something like that. But yes. I have another time, another discussion for another time. Maybe I'll meet you all in SNF too when we face to face. Okay, thanks very much, Afisha. You're welcome. Hi, good day, everyone. Um, my name is Afisha Bernard, and I'm from the Northeast. Something I love to do. Um, I would say read books. I can ah. sit and read all day. What's the last good book you read, Afisha? Um, so, Rich SNF Dad Poor Dad. Oh, I thought you was going to say my Rich. SNF one textbook. Rich Dad Poor Dad. What that one is about? Um, it's basically um the world gap mm. between how the poor think and how the ultra wealthy think and how they rise from being basically a working person to somebody that owns corporations mm. and how to basically live life where mm -hmm. other people work for you and mm. you have all the time to do whatever you want. Sounds great. All right. Thanks very much for enlightening us there. All right. Let's see who else do we have. That's um, pressure. 
that was uh, Afisha, Precious. Oh, Precious now coming in. So we'll get uh, um, Brenton. Yes, uh, good day. Um, my name is Brenton David. I'm from Central, Central side. Um, I like sports. Uh, you most like West Indies cricket? <laughs> most preferably on um, football. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Did, did you, <laughs> yeah. Do you play football or did you play football? When yeah, I mean, Oh, what position? Midfield. Pardon? Midfield? Yeah. You have two feet? If I have two feet? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what that means in football, right? When somebody says you have two no, feet. No, if I, if I could use my boat for the shoot. Um, Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a football in term. If, you know, you say, whenever you say, like, yeah, it's play football. And somebody say, if you have two feet, I mean, if you could kick, kick well, you yeah, know, yeah, could, competent yeah. with both of them. I hear both you. That is very good. Yeah, yeah. Very good. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. Um, precious, precious Daniel, what we're doing here, we're just doing introduction. So if you will, just say a name, where you're from, North, South, East, or West. And something you like to do that is not illegal, immoral, or fattening. All right, so Precious, if you would. Good morning, everybody. I am Precious Daniel. I am from Santa Cruz, and I enjoy interacting with children, and I have a passion for sciences. So What's I look it? forward to doing this class. That is very good. Thanks a lot, Precious. Okay, is it Eli Eliza or Elisa, the beak? I want to go with Eliza. <laughs> Elisa. Elisa, okay. Hi, my name is Elisa Devik, and um, I like to watch Korean dramas. Yeah, that's all. Okay, you know, when I first saw your name, you have a scientific name there. E E-L-I-S-A, or ELISA, stands for Enzyme-Linked Immunosuppressive Assay. And it's, it's a technique that we use in the lab. So, you know, when I did see your name, I was like, ah, oh, Elisa, Eliza. Anyhow, so I would remember your name most definitely. The pronunciation might suffer. Do forgive me if I happen to pronounce your name incorrectly. Thanks a lot very much, Elisa. All right. Thank you. Um, Bo is it Bose? Bose. Bose, uh-huh. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. My name is Bose Hanagana. I'm in Tobago, but I'm from Nigeria. Um, what I love to do is singing. Uh huh. What kind of song do you sing? What type of songs? Spirituals? Gospel. Gospel? Gospel songs. You could sing Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace. What do you sing? Words? Okay, all right. Yes, yes, yes. You're good. You're good. Well done. Well done. Excellent. Excellent. So, Bose, I'll remember that from Nigeria, as opposed to BOSE, Bose. I don't know if some people into sound system, you know, there's this Bose sound system. And the Bose sound system, it was developed by a guy from India. So actually, I wasn't sure in terms of the pronunciation if it was Bose or Bose. But now I would remember. And in particular, if I don't remember your name, I'd most definitely remember the voice. Thanks very much, Bose. Okay, Kaylee. Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Kelly Garcia. I'm from the East and I like to play musical instruments. What instrument in particular do you like to play? Is there any one that is your favorite? Um, the steel pan, tenor. What are you saying? You're making a joke. The tenor pan. When I was in school, I used to play the tenor because I, my concentration kind of low. So, you know, all the other bands, like the double second or the double tenor, the cello and the bass, to me, like too much notes to run all over the place finding. So I find the um, the tenor was, was the best one to play. So similarly, like you, I play the tenor pan. That is good. What is your favorite song? Uh, could you read music or you just do it by root memory? No, I could read music. What are you saying? Well, you have one up on me. Because with us, we just used to do it by memory. You know, the, the conductor used to come and just show somebody who had a, like a fast pickup. And then, you know, they would trickle it down to us. But that is very good that you could do music. And most indeed, that you could play the tenor pan. Thanks a lot. Okay, now who was, that was Kaylee. All right, Rosa Gilbert. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rosa Gilbert. I'm from Princess Town and I love singing. Mm, you can sing Amazing Grace. I can sing a Miranda Curtis if you wish. What are you saying? When we meet in person, you know, 
That's maybe part of it. Ideally for SNF2, you know, maybe we could have a, a little group going on where we could have um, Kaylee play in the pan as well. Very good. Thanks, Rosa. Desiree? Hi, good morning. I am Desiree Guy. I'm from Safaria. And I like anything dealing with the kitchen. I love to bake and cook. And, yeah. What is, what's the best thing you could cook? The best thing I could cook is um, huh, everything. <laughs> what are you saying? You have real skills then. <laughs> that is good. That is good. As they say, you have sweet hand. That is very yeah. good. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. That was Desiree. Uh, Penny. Hi, everyone. My name is Penny. I'm from Arima area, and I love to do any kind of craft. I like to try all crafts. Mm. Oh, that's very good. That's very good, man. Um, were you named, if I might ask, were you named after uh, Miss Kamisi Young? Or, or 19? Yes, ah, that's what go. my mom said. <laughs> ah, there you go, there you go. Yes, Janelle Penny Kamisi Young. Yes, I remember, 19, what, 1977. Yes, Miss Universe, 1977. Well done. Okay, thanks a lot, uh, Penny. Uh, Tika? Morning, sir. Uh, my name is Tika Jackdale. I'm from Sawa, and I like hiking. Mm, yeah, when, when you're hiking, uh, you belong to a group, or you just normally, you know, you have, just have some friends, or they decide to go on a hike, and then you head out. Uh, I usually go with a hiking group. Mm, do you all watch for the weather before you go, most critically? Uh, Uh, yeah, I go to a group experience, Titi. Uh, oh, you like, um, oh, you're a professional man. I hear you. Yes, 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 yes. Well, that is grand. You know, it's always good to, to go with that. And uh, But the reason why I asked, I think it's just this week, um, I saw in the newspaper, uh, some persons had to go in, I think some off-duty um, sailors, because somebody had experienced difficulty in a hike. You know, and they they couldn't walk or something like that. So these sailors went in and they brought them back out. So that was that was my concern as it relates to weather and so on. Thanks a lot, Tika. Yeah. All right, yeah. Frida. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Frida. Hi everyone. Good morning. My name is Frida Larosa. I am from Central. I enjoy sewing, and in my spare time, I enjoy going for evening walks. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's good. What? Um, in terms of walking, as we all know, it's very healthy and it keeps down certain diseases, in particular type 2 diabetes. So it's good that you go for your little evening walks and so on. Thanks, Frida. Priscilla? Good evening, everyone. You already hear me? Loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Right. Good evening, everyone. Good morning. My name is Priscilla Lack good morning. Mm -hmm. It's all My good. name is Priscilla Lacken. I'm from the Arima area. I like to bake and go to the beach. What you're saying? That is very good. Which, which is your favorite of all the beaches to go to? Which one you, you like the best? Um, Anyone I in particular? I like Tyrico and Las Cuevas. I love Las Cuevas. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Las Cuevas is a really nice, nice beach to go to. But it, you just kind of get a little anxious when you reach Maracas, eh? you know, and you're knowing that you still had to wait a little bit. If you're coming from that direction, you know, that you had to wait a little bit still before you could actually get to the, the um, get to the beach. But that's grand, indeed. And the salt water, you know, is very therapeutic, you know, so it's all good. Thanks a lot, Priscilla. Um, Prudence? And Prudence might have stepped out for a cup of tea. We'll get back to her. Shanice? Um, Mac what's Shanice? Oh, yeah, correct. I was going to mark in. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Shanice McIntosh. Um, I live at the Sangha Grande area. And I've recently developed a new hobby, which is crocheting. What I found myself to really enjoy crocheting. Guys like knitting mm -hmm. with yarns. Yeah. Um, I found myself really enjoying doing that. 
Oh, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> that is great, man. That is great. Yeah. So, so what is your your aspire to make in terms of it with your crocheting? Anything in particular? Um, I've started making a handbag mm -hmm. and also clothing, like um, bikini. Mm. That sounds great. Well done. And so it's a nice way to actually keep up, you know, keep your mind occupied. Thanks, Shanice. Yes. Ms. Thank Millington. You. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Hadzia. I'm from Arima. And I like to craft and singing. Okay, great. I could sing and so on. So once again, you could join in to the um, you could join in to our little group once we have it. <laughs> when we when we meet in person. Thanks a lot. Adia. Who's next? Uh Danelle. Good morning, everyone. My name is Danelle Nicole Nanan. I'm from South. Um, I enjoy watching movies. Yeah. Oh, when was the last good movie you saw that you saw now? Well, recently I watched Spider-Man and I'm mm. really excited for Batman. I'm really, really excited. A lot of people almost spoil it for me, but I have to tell them, mm -mm, no. <laughs> that is good. That is good. Okay. Thanks very much. Okay, Amy. Oh, Denali there? Yes, go ahead. Oh, sorry, I thought you said Amy, oh, sir. Oh, Amy, my bad. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay, well, um, good morning, everyone. My name is Amy, and I'm from South. And like Denali, I really like watching movies as well. And Denali, I could promise you, Batman was really good. Go and see it as soon as I could. And I also really like chess. I've gotten into it recently. Okay, great, great. Yeah, chess will. And the good thing with chess is you can play with people from all over the world. You can play against the computer. There's so many different options available there. And it really, it's a nice way, you know, to engage your mind in terms of doing something constructive. Thanks a lot, Amy. Mira? Good morning, everyone. My name is Mira Primnat, and I'm from California. And something I like to do is doodling. Oh, doodling. You want to expand for some of us who might know what doodling is? Um, for example, it's like drawing mm. when I have nothing to do. Mm -hmm. My favorite things to draw really is like foodie characters. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, that is great. Thank you very much. Yeah. In terms of do I know, I know sure, yeah, doodling, just drawing out little things. Very creative. Thank you very much. Lydia? Hi everyone, my name is Lydia Marie Rampasad. I'm from Jago Martin and some of my hobbies would be um, cooking. I really love to cook and I really love to dance and sing. In terms of sing, you could sing Amazing Grace? Yeah, I could sing Amazing Grace. Well, yeah, we, we could form a tree. Like that, that's your new song we sing in today or what? <laughs> I could sing lots of different ones, but uh, yeah, we could form a trio, no problem. Yeah, I could sing it. I actually sing a lot of opera as well. I was... Um, what you saying? Yeah, yeah, I could do some stuff, yeah. Wow, what genius light, man. That is excellent, excellent. Yeah, one of the reasons why I like to use Amazing Grace as a, as a gauge, to me, it's a nice way to um, check to see if somebody could sing in terms of the range, different range of tones you have to hit for the song. You know, so that's why I like to ask it loud where Amazing Grace is concerned. Thanks a lot, Lydia. Uh-huh, Mishak. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Mishak Ramsey. I live Shigonas currently, and I like to, um, to connect with nature. Also, I like watching anime. 
Oh, that's very good. In terms of how do you connect with nature? Um, uh, simply as taking a hike by myself without like any social interference. Mm -hmm. So I'll go there without any phone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll carry food, I'll sit, eat, mm -hmm. probably carry juice. I just like the odors. Right, and times for nice introspection and self-reflection. Thanks yes. a lot, Mishak. That's no problem. Charlene? Hi, right, good day. Yes, hello. Yeah, go so ahead, Shadi. Shadi? Yes. Hi, so my name is Shadi. So now, I know joining me tonight really. Oh, what so what you're we're doing, we're explaining. just doing introduc yeah. introductions. So you're just giving your name, where you're from in terms of North, South, East, or West. And one thing you like to do that is not illegal, immoral, or fat me. Yeah. So my name is Charlene Samlov. I'm from the East. Sir. And one thing I like to do is like spend time with the family and friends, basically. Mm -hmm. That is basically I'm a simple person. Oh, that's good, man. It takes skill, you know, to get to, to spend time with family and so on. It, it shows then that, you know, you could communicate well. So that's very good. Thanks a lot, Charlene. Cornelia. Thanks, Cornelia. I wonder if Cornelia is there, or maybe she stepped out for a cup of tea. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Yes, go ahead. Um, We're hearing you. Okay. My name is Cornelia Sampson. I am originally from Tobago. I've been living in Trinidad 19 years now. What I love playing netball. I love mm -hmm. athletics. And I love spending time with my children. Oh, that is good. That is good. Seem to be a well-rounded person there, Cornelia. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. You're welcome. And, Anissa? Hi, morning. Um, you're all hearing me because the rain is falling really hard by me. Loud and clear. Okay, lovely. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Anissa Sicheran. Um, I am from Central, Chase Village. And I really enjoy outdoor activities, fishing, hiking, camping, making a little river line, cook. <laughs> I love um, a lot of outdoor activities. And my father always taught me to be um, an independent woman. So I actually really enjoy construction stuff as well, mm -hmm, building. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, I can actually do my own little auto mechanics. What you saying? That is great, right? Uh, not only are you well-rounded, but yeah, you're very useful with your hands. And it's always, that is always a great thing. Thanks very much, Anissa. Um, Kestra? Was it Kestra? Hi, good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm from the Sangugandi area. I love, well, I enjoy cooking, baking. One of my favorite things to make is a corn pie. So yeah, that's about it. Oh yeah, corn pie is particularly yeah. I like corn pie. It's very sometimes it's similar to to pastel pie as well. So that's all good. Thanks a lot, Kestra. Vanessa. Good morning. My name is Vanessa Springer. I am from Port of Spain. I love socializing. Oh, that's good. That's good. So I suppose has COVID cut back your socializing or have you changed the method in which you socialize, i.e., you know, more online? So it cut it back a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. It, yeah, it, yeah, it's really missing that in terms of socializing, as, in terms of meeting people and so on. Face yes. Face. Uh, it is different. Yeah. I hear you, Vanessa. Thanks very much. Shanice? Yeah. Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Shanice Thomas. I'm from South. And my, la my last hobby that I was into was martial arts, Purple Jordan. I was at the South Valley Marble Dojo. And well, since I have a one year old, I haven't went back yet. And then I started back working. So 
I know I don't really, I don't really have like a hobby, hobby. Well, like, I've seen about my kids working and well classes, and that's about it. What you saying, man? In your, your purple dragon dojo, what? Yeah, yeah Marvel, very... Marvel dojo. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good way to stay fit and also, you know. Yes, like, it um... is because um, I actually got into it because I had. I have a four-year-old and I got mm-hmm. into it when she was a newborn mm-hmm. because I had gotten two strokes when I mm. was having her. Yes. So it was a way to keep my fit and then I end up, you know, just liking it and just being there. Mm. Yeah. And I have a last baby. He's one and since I had him, I just didn't go back. I understand. So, Everything in its time, when the time is right, yeah. we will rejoin. Thanks very much, Shanice. Yes, I will. Lita or Laita? Yes. Good morning. Hi, my name is Lita Wallace. I'm originally from Tobago. I, uh, my hobby is uh, singing and I am a registered farmer. Mm. I'm, into, uh, I'm into animal husbandry. I mm. mine sheep, oilers, layers, gardening. Mm. That's good, man. You're very self-sufficient in that regard, man, Lita. And you know, yes, in particular yes. now, where... You know, there, there is talk, you know, about, you know, uh, increasing prices generally, not only as it yes, relates yes. to wheat, but, you know, yes. across the board is now self-sufficiency as it relates to animal husbandry and agriculture yes. becomes so much more important. So we know who we're visiting for Christmas then, <laughs> by Lita, and she gave yes, away yes. sorrel, pigeon peas, all kind of things. Thanks very no much, No problem at all, so you all are welcome, most welcome. Thanks. We appreciate that, thanks very much. So excuse me, I have one question beside, yes. one question to ask. What's happening is um, I have a little problem. When, um, for registration, when I chose this class, it was eight o'clock, eight to 10.50, and then labs were supposed to be from two to 4.50. Mm-hmm. But then this morning I saw a message. Well, yesterday, as a matter of fact, I saw the message where the um, students with the CRN were supposed to mm-hmm. start class at 11 mm-hmm. today. The mm-hmm. problem I'm having is the reason why I chose classes at those times, I have to work mm-hmm. also. Mm-hmm. So I do not know how, being as a change, the, the, the time has changed. Okay. I do not know mm-hmm. how I will be able to continue because it's going to try. It is normally work eight to four every day. I understand. Look, Misha seems to want to say something. Misha, go ahead. Yes, Mr. Campbell, I also had the same problem and I, I actually emailed you about it. Yes. But mm-hmm. I so, actually, I made the decision to drop my other course for your course. Oh, I was not going to say if there's another, is there another SNF1 course that runs at eight o'clock? I don't think so. No, you know, so they, I don't have a no. next one. Uh, it is only 11 to, and they changed this time. They shifted it because somebody else as well told me that yesterday. In fact, they they they, they were they called me and, and asked me, you know, why we are not having class this morning, you know. Um, so I hear what um, you're saying, but in terms of the shift, um, that was above my my pay grade. I, you know, so they do things in terms of moving around things to accommodate different classes and so on. So that's why the shift. I much apologize for that because I could understand how that could disrupt your schedule as outlined, you know, by both of you all. But um, and mm-hmm. another another thing, so um, I seen on my week at a glance schedule. I'm seeing your lab on a Tuesday for 2 p.m. to 4.50 p.m. I don't know. Um, anybody um, else seeing that? Because my understanding is my lab. Um, is sir, I got that from this. That's the same, sir. The same as student, these students are yeah, mentioning. I, I had the exact thing. But I, I was fortunate enough to be able to change it. Yeah, but yes, anybody sir. else? Anybody else? They, anyhow, I tell you what. I, okay, just hold on. Uh, we have one more person to hear from Shania, and then we'll get into issues related to it. To the class. So do remember what you where you were. Let's put an asterisk on it. Let's just hear from Shania, and then we'll get back to that. Okay, Shania, if you will, just introduce yourself, please. Okay, it seems like Shania stepped out for a cup of tea. 
No, then it's you. All right, so that, that's the 28 plus two. Currently we have 30 persons registered. So let me just ask one question. In terms of the lab, is anybody in terms of their schedule seeing this lab as being on Thursday? Me, yes, yes, sir. I just checked it. It's yes, right. sir. Oh, yes, sir. Could, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, just hold on. Hold on. Yes, sir. My lab is. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's what, just one second. Let me see. Um, this goes. Meeting in process on the cause of order environment control annotate security and video. So it's showing as um on a Thursday uh, for the lab. Let me just check that real quick. So the thing is this. Okay, just hold on. Summary classes, submit, submit to 1140. All right, to 1140. Yeah, Thursday. Okay, they changed that up on me. They did. They changed. <laughs> that was changed. And so again, we got our email this and morning. Again, and again, I would apologize because that changed actually from yesterday to today. Because yesterday, up to yesterday, it was. So it has now changed, and now as you see, Miss Singh, Miss Anu Singh is doing it. That's from two to five on a Thursday. Um, I could imagine how that disrupted your schedule. Yeah. Uh, anybody did it? Anybody see? You could show by raise of hand. Anybody did that cause problems with your schedule? Just show by raise of hand. Um, just raise your hand. Yeah. All right. Mm. So, mm. Okay. Sorry. Oh, no. All we're doing Let's... now is raising hands. All we're doing now is raising How do hands. I do that? How do I do that? Okay. So you're seeing, um, actually, my, my seeing is not your seeing. Somebody want to explain how you raise your hand? The reactions, but the reactions. So, Mr. Campbell, your labs are not too. One, not, one second, I'm coming, to you, I'm coming back to that, Mishak. Right now, we're just looking at the hands, all right? So, I'm coming okay, back no to you shortly. Mm -hmm. The person who was asking about the hands, did you get through in terms of solving that issue? In terms of how to raise your hand? Were you able to? Yes, get I was able. I was able to get through. Thank Excellent. You. Okay, great. So, we have 12 persons disrupted. Let me take a note of that because, yeah. So persons have been disrupted. Mishaka, come into here. I don't think I'll forget you. Mm -hmm. So 12 persons um, disrupted, yeah, by change, by change of date. Now, let me ask this. And of course, this is pure speculation, but if it were to be changed, what date, is there a particular day that is favorable for you or time? Let's look at time first. What time is good? Is the five to eight slot better? Well, you have, you know, we have eight to 11, 11 to two, two to five and five to eight. Out of those four, which one is the best slot available? So I say five to eight, this is Lita. Okay, so let's do a little poll on that for the five to eight. Let's clear our hands off. So put on all the hands. If you um, five to eight for Tuesday or Thursday. Okay, just now we're doing time time starts first. I wish I could have do it multiple. So let's let's clear off all the hands if you would. Mm -hmm. We have one person still, right? So let's look at the five to eight. Would the five to eight work? Okay, so if the five to eight is good for you, just raise your hand. You could vote, you could vote multiple times. We're just looking at slot times. If five to eight, mm, interesting, mm, interesting. Seems like a very good time slot. Is that on a Tuesday, sir? We'll work on the day just now. Um, so it could be on a Tuesday. We'll speculate. It seems everybody do five to eight. 
works. So, so I just written my heart was five to eight, yeah, but I would prefer it to be on a Tuesday. Okay, we're not looking at date just yet. We'll do the combo just now. So we're doing it, as I say, one day at a time. Sweet Jesus. All right? So five to eight in terms of time. So let's look on a day now. What is the best day for you? Anybody wants to suggest a day? Let's clear the hands now. Clear up the hands. Today. Today? What is today? Yeah, Tuesday. Today. Okay. Today. So Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes, sir, on Tuesday. Yes, sir. Tuesday. All right. Yes, sir, so today. let's do a vote. Okay. We're voting now. So Tuesday, if Tuesday 5 to 8, by extension, if you would vote um, on that. What are you saying? So it seems Tuesday 5 to 8 is a good... No, yes. sir. I have another class at 5 to 8 this evening. Oh, okay, no problem. So do I. Have, so do I, sir. All right. So do I, too. So do I have a oh, no, oh, oh, let me say, no, no, no. I think maybe you all misunderstood what I said. When I said Tuesday 5 to 8 seems to be good, it doesn't mean it's cast in concrete. No, by no means, no. I just mean that it is favorable, all right? So it's not cast in concrete. So there are three persons where it's an issue, all right? So let's look at another day. What about Wednesday 5 to 8? Wednesday 5 to 8, how does that look? No, sir, I have to work on that day. Okay, Holy. so we, mm -mm, we vote in. All right, we'll take it by vote. You know? No, sir. So, so it's always good to have data to back it up. All right, so we have four persons. All right, so Thursday, five to eight. Yes, sir. Let's do a clear off. Clear the hands off first, if you don't mind, please. Just to make sure we don't have, can we just clear the hands? Yeah. Okay, now vote. Yeah. Okay, let's vote now. Okay, we have eight. Okay, we're looking at nine. All right. Um, are there persons for which there's a clash on Thursday, five to eight? Yes, sir. Uh huh. Yes, sir. All right. So, how many dies? Yes, two, three. Okay, I'm hearing three. Okay. What about, let's look at Friday now. What about Friday, five to eight? If you would vote. Friday, five to eight. Okay, we have four. That's a low one. What about Saturday, five to eight? Saturday, five to eight. Okay, so we have four. So in terms of the most favorable times, we have two. Um, Thursday, where there's a clash with three people, and Tuesday, which is today, where there's also a clash with three persons. So it seems then that there really isn't a time that is really favorable with everybody else. Hmm. Now, what I would do... Excuse me. Yes, go ahead. Um, so I just want to say a little something, right? Remember when everybody in the class room um, registered, we everybody knew that on a Tuesday we were having labs and um, the the um, the other part of the structure and function, right? On a Tuesday. So even though the time is off, I don't think that we should supposed to move it to other day because. When everybody went to sign up, knew that it was a Tuesday. So I don't think we're supposed to look for other days. We're supposed to actually try to change the time. One of the things. I agree. I one agree as well. Yeah. Okay, just one. Hold on. I, just hold on. Just one, one second, Castro. So what I'm doing is always important that, that we try to satisfy as many people as possible within the group itself. And initially, there was a movement from the Tuesday to the Thursday. So all I'm doing right now, I'm looking at the possibility. I'm not saying it's going to change. So it's just the possibility we're looking at. So before anything is actually done, it will have you It will have you as in consultation. So it's not like I'm going to take this information and then go to the uh, course coordinator and say, this is what happening. And then we'll decide, okay, Tuesday seems to be the best day, boom. And then you'll see a change. By no means that will not happen. If any change is to happen, it will have to be with consultation with the group of yours. And it has to be 
um, something that is favorable for everyone. So all I'm doing Excuse. right now is collecting information to which Excuse I will speak say. to the coming at you. I hear you. Just one minute. So that's all I'm doing right now. So it's nothing cast in concrete. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so even though it's changed for me personally, even though it's changed to Thursday, um, I still would, because I raised my hand for Tuesday 5 to 8, right? But if it's um, changed to Thursday during the day, I could still make that faster than the 5 to 8. I just happened to put my, ha my hand up because it was an option. But I'm okay with the original time as a change because honestly, I kind of, I'm a full-time student and I, I, I'm okay with it. I know the mm -hmm. others aren't, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So let me see. So back to the original question, because as I said, I will approach the CC and let them know. For the current change, which was was really made over the space of one day, Thursday, who has problems with it? With, with sorry, yeah, with it shifting to Thursday in terms of clashes, which is the current the current um, where the lab is. Okay, so I have five people. Okay, so as I said. I will speak with the, the course coordinator and we'll look to see how best we could get something that will be favorable, you know, if not everybody, but as many people as possible. All right. Um, because I can understand it was short notice. And if you were, if you were not consulted before, uh, I could see how that could be perceived as being unfair. All right, so, so let, me, let me address that. And that will be addressed quickly because um, labs start on the 4th of April. So it doesn't start today. So we do have a little bit of time to, to work it out. So don't feel too, too pressured in that regard. Okay, we good? Yes, okay sir. All right. All right, so let's move Thank forward. Thank you, sir. Yes, go ahead. You can take down your hands now. Yes, go ahead. Do we have to come in to do the labs? Yeah, boy, you had to come. Okay, no, I was just being naughty. All the labs are online. Both the lecture and the lab, they're fully online. So you don't have well, to physically come in. Uh, oh, let me finish now. I haven't finished so now. That, just, okay. just hold on, precious, Sorry. just one minute. Mm -hmm. So I would say up to this point, we have not received any change in directive from the ministry as it relates to labs. So up to this point, we are continuing on the mandate, which we have been operating on to the last year, which is everything being online. Should a mandate, and I don't, in terms of logic, it would not be supreme, it would not be exceptionally logical for a change relating to policy to come in mid-semester, because our semester has already started. But as I said, we operate according to the, under the auspices of the ministry. Should they say something differently? Well, yeah, but the probability of that happening is very low. So as it exists currently, inclusive of the lab, everything for this semester will be online. That is okay, Precious? Yes, sir. And in a case like that, if it is possible that they could extend the time in which we have to hand in the lab, that will be better, I think, because everybody may not agree on the time, the date and so on. But if we have a little more time, at least like we could reach home and be able to do the lab and hand it in. With regards to the lab, usually, I don't know. So I with, regards, with regards to the lab, usually you're given um, six days to actually hand it in. You think that's sufficient for you? So it's not done on the same day. So it's not like you do the lab today and you have to hand it in by, let's say, midnight. So you're usually given six days in which to hand it in. So you think that'll work for your precious? Yes, sir. So okay. then regardless of the time, I could still get the work done. Excellent. Okay, great. But thanks for bringing that to my attention, precious. Okay. All right. So that's where the lab is concerned. So I expect to hear something on that, um, you know, by this week. You, you can put down your hand, precious. Yeah. Okay, let me do it for you. Oh, you took it down. Okay, great. All right. So I expect to hear something with regards to the labs. But as I said, if anybody did um, get any undue disruption, my apologies for that. I could understand how that could chew you off, all right? But as I said, labs don't start until the 4th of April. So we'll see how best we could work out something that will please as many persons as possible, okay? All right. 
So in terms of, of the course itself, of course, I bring you greetings, you know, welcome to the course and bring you greetings, of course, um, from everybody within COSTAT, inclusive of our president, our dean, our, super, our chair, and of course, coordinator, Dr. Sattar. No, Dr. Sattar is just one person. She doesn't have all the other titles associated with her. Okay. Now, for the course, there are just certain standards which um, certain things are, I just like to, to, to ask of you. Right. And the main thing is what do you want from me as a lecturer for the course? So let me hear. I, I usually ask this what do you want? This is the only time I ask this question. What do you want? Hi, sir. Um, is it okay for me to answer? Yeah. Go ahead. I would just like you as our lecturer to um, guide us along the way. And um, if we are going in the wrong direction, to steer us in the right direction, because I do believe that everyone here would like to gain a really good pass grade. So that's all I would ask from you. Okay, thank you. All right. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Um, basically, just understanding, like, for instance, in my case, I'm a mature student I'm now learning the system, especially for labs and so on. And um, as well as I haven't done biology and these type of things for many years. So it's a matter of just getting back my foot in and just understanding, especially with deadlines, because for me personally, this is my situation is that I work, I work on my own. So I'm a self-employed person. So that's why I'm a little bit flexible. But sometimes that could get in the way of some deadlines and because of that as well, I sometimes speak to my lecturers about, you know, maybe like a day extension or a little extra time. Some, mm -hmm. some lecturers have actually been very, very nice about it. And some have been quite, you know, crass about it. Um, not understanding sometimes that a mature student will take a lot longer time to figure out certain things on a computer and that type of thing, you know. So just more understanding in that regard. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'll tell you that up front. Yeah, yeah, you'll get that from me. That is not an issue. And and applaud, you know, kudos for returning uh, to to school. You know, after the fact, that is really good in terms of self advancement. So that is very good in that regard. So, but I hear what you're saying in terms of working with you as it relates to deadlines and so on. Okay, anything else? All right, I guess that's about it. Okay, so I think those things are in terms of guidance. Yeah, I've been teaching this course for over 10 years now. So I would give you guidance. And if you are going on the wrong path, you know, um, I'd put you back, well, you know, tell you which is the right way to go. In terms of the course itself, yeah, I don't want to see you all again. And I mean that in the nicest way, in terms of in SNF1. The only time I want to see you all again is I say SNF2. So is my, um, I take it, you know, to, to get you out of here as it relates to passing, uh, oh, passing the course. And by no means is this course exceptionally difficult. And I think the format as it currently is online does favor, well, persons who are, so um, who do have that leaning and so on. But um, I would say, I do look forward to not seeing you all again in SNF1. If there's one thing um, I would like to see where that is concerned. In terms of the understanding, I try as much as possible to convey the material in as nice a way as possible. One of the good things is it is recorded. The classes are recorded. The lectures, all the lectures for this course have already been recorded. So one of the way in which it is presented, if you were to look um, on the course page itself, right, you would see like, um, here, there'll be a link to the lecture, right? Now, some of the lectures will be live and some you are expected to actually go through, um, go through the lecture for yourself and do the exercises. In terms of how the class is set up, if you notice here, it will, here is where it tells you what is expected of you for the class itself. So for instance, here it says review the lecture on PowerPoint. So what you'll do, look for the lecture, here's the lecture, and these are the notes, the PowerPoints. So you go through them. Revise the, the resources, anatomical terms. So you go through them, complete the practice quiz. Here's a practice quiz and complete the activity sheet. Now these activity sheets, they do 
add up in terms of your grade. So you're asking, well, how much, how much exactly um, does it add up? If you were to go on the weekly schedule and dates on the course page, you'll see the schedule Right, so you'll see the schedule here in terms of the dates and what we actually do um, during the the week. Right, so form and function molecules of life tells you what you go through, and here we see lab start on the fourth of April, as we mentioned. Other thing as well, it tells you when assessment one is, also when assessment two is twenty fourth of May, and tentatively the final exam is on this date. So this is a nice; it breaks down the semester for you in terms of the week. This course runs for fifteen weeks, and it tells you what is expected of you um, during each class period. Another thing as well, it tells you in terms of your grading. You have two in course assessments, each one is worth 10. You have two graded activities, a group project and the lab sessions. So it's really 10 lab sessions you have when we do start them. And that the lab sessions are actually done within a group. All right, so come the fourth, I would, what's the best way? Do you all, do you all want me to put you all in groups or do you want to put yourselves in groups? Well, can we pick our own group? You please? sure can. Oh, okay, let's do a vote on that one. Let's do a vote. All those who want to pick their own groups, raise their hand. That's only five people, boy. <laughs> only six people want to pick. Seven. All right. And how many people prefer that I put them in groups? Raise your hand. Interesting. More people prefer I put them in groups. We have to go with the <laughs> we have to go with the majority people. So sixteen. We're looking at sixteen people. Well, twelve versus six. So we'll take this poll again. But thus far, it seems that you want me to put in groups. I have no problem where that is concerned. Okay. So barring that. I would put you in groups, all right? So let me just take note of that. Put students in groups. No, okay, that's fine, all right? So yeah, so this is the breakdown for your grades. The final exam is 40. The lab sessions are worth 20. The group project is worth 10% of your mark. You'll get your group project next week. Oh, for group project, I guess I'll, you'll have to be put in groups. You'll get it when um, when when the lab start. Then, since you have to be put in groups, the graded activities. You have two graded activities. That is um, these two, assessment one and two. Right, assessment one, which is the week of April the eighteenth. The other one is May the twenty third. Each one, uh, each one. Sorry, the in course assessments, those are the in course. Those are with 10%, the graded activities. I wonder if it's written down here. Yes, um, it's on the 12th of May, right? Is based on the nervous system, and the other graded activity is based on the skeletal system. In terms of the format of the graded activity, you'll see it um, as we get closer to it. After assessment one, you'll, it'll become clear what it is in terms of the worksheet. All right, so the deadline, you'll get, you'll get it. On this day, the deadline has to change. It's not the third of December, but you'd have at least a week to work on it. Okay. All right. So, so that's it. So, when you want to know what, in terms of what we'll do next, you know, you look here. And again, that is found. Um, just click on the weekly schedule and dates, so you'll find it there. Hmm. Yeah. I'll have to change this as well in terms of the lab dates. You'll have to see about that. All right, the course outline is here as well. So in terms of expectations of the course, what is required of you as it relates to the different topics, right? So when you go through, you can actually see what is expected of you as it relates to the different topics, all right? So as I mentioned, 
every week, one of the things you will see you before the before the week starts. Now you're only seeing this because um, this is the view I have. All right. Oh, are you all hearing me? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. yes, sir. Okay. Oh, I was just, I just got a, a message on my computer. Um, uh, telling me a low resource system resource. I just thought uh, I, you all were, you were quiet in that regard. Yeah, so you all only seeing this because this is my view, but you all don't usually see this, right? So all the uh, different things for the class is actually there. It will be revealed, you know, as the weeks go by, right? The cell tissues and so on. And each week is the same format in terms of what you follow, review the lecture and so on. So the lecture will be, a recorded lecture will be put up and there will be some days where you'll be expected to do what is known as self-directed learning. So self-directed learning, that is all about you. You'll be able to go through the everything that we do for the week itself, but you'll do it on your own. And there'll be other times when it'll be live, but you will be informed of that well in advance of the week itself, okay? Excuse me, sir. Yes, go ahead. Hi, um, so I called the bookstores this morning and no one has the books for the class. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I called UE Bookstore, I called Book Specialist, and I called Charon's um, mm -hmm. Malto. Mm -hmm. It's all not right. available at all. So what do we do in terms of supplementing? Because I can't find um, any other book, neither the reference books. So in terms But yes, to answer your question, yeah. All these sections will be recorded and will be put up. It'll be put up within the space. It will be put up within the space of 24 hours after the lecture. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, any other questions? Hi, yes, Hi sir, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, what's the difference between this course on anatomy and physiology? <laughs> That's a very good question. And this one is more, is just with a little tweak towards nursing, okay. right? But they're virtually the same. They're virtually the same. I ask this because I have a previous degree and mm. I have anatomy and physiology in well. Constat. Well, right mm -hmm. but they've told me that i had to do over this course mm. so i wanted to know like why when is when you say the um if i you're talking about persons in nursing or the, that is nursing no. biology no um that is um um uh, they, they told you specifically <laughs> that is miss delamay wilson yes it, so it had had to be done. Um, there are some things which are, which has especially the me, mm -hmm. Go ahead. She told me, well, I know when I did it, anatomy and physiology, mm -hmm. that was a while ago. And it was one course then, but they had it twice for the week. Like we had mm -hmm. classes twice for the week, one course mm -hmm. twice for the week. So mm -hmm. she told me that how they split the course now, how it's more in-depth. So oh, I don't know because to yeah, me, because there's the SNF, is SNF okay. one and two, structure right. function one, structure and function two. So they expanded it. Yeah, okay. They expanded. So the course is expanded in terms of the depth of the course. And okay. um, she's my boss, and I can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just asked so, because I know of other people that mm -hmm. did the same as me, and they got mm -hmm. exempted. Yeah. But when I when I came when to the she told me. That, and that is yeah. within like the last couple of months you made that inquiry or oh, this was yeah. a long time or oh, last couple of months okay no yeah. last couple of months i made the inquiry but i did the course a while ago you were mm -hmm. my lecturer for some of my courses as well back then mm -hmm. uh -huh. what yeah. you're saying <laughs> that is good. i don't know if i was any good back then yeah. <laughs> yes sir. okay great uh, yeah so so I guess you, um, I could raise, let me just take note of it. No, I wouldn't, in, in the raising of the point, I wouldn't mention any more anything. I'll just ask okay. the course coordinator. Right? Okay, no problem. Dr. Sattar. Sattar, yeah. Yeah. You know ab about that, you know, A and P as opposed to SNF to right. one and two. Um, what you're looking for is an exemption. All right, so I'll get, let me get back to you on that, okay? Okay, no problem. Okay, Chanel. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. 
All right. Any other questions? All right. All right, then. So what we could do, let's just start in terms of looking uh, class one lecture. We just go through today's lecture and then we'd call it a day. All right. So they should run for about half hour or so. So let's go. Okay. Right. So A and P. All right. So anatomy and physiology is relates to both the structure and function, which is what we, we are looking at in this course. Anatomy relates to structure, physiology relates to function, function in terms of how, what it does specifically. So in terms of this course, always remember in terms, how do you relate it to the, these two terms? And this is usually, I assure you, a multiple choice question always comes in this. Anatomy and physiology is related to what? So always remember anatomy, structure physiology function one nice way to remember it is that you have a f song from physiology you also have a f song from function so physiology and function you know they do match up as it relates to those two things yeah which is a nice way to remember it. physiology is function so characteristics of organisms living things have certain properties associated with them so what are some of the characteristics of life well organization and one of the things in terms of organization when we look at the body itself the body is organized in terms of let's say from the lowest the lowest and most simplest of forms when we look at chemicals and then we have increasing complexities so we have chemicals they are arranged to form uh, compounds and these compounds are arranged within cells collection of these cells form specific tissues these tissues then form organs, organs form organ systems, and collectively these organ systems, they form the complete organisms. So which is why interestingly enough, when you do have issues with different organ systems, you could have you know, different things going wrong in a, in a cascade type uh, way. What do I mean by that? Let's say for instance, with blood pressure, one of the organ systems closely associated or related to the um, change in blood pressure, one of the organs in terms of the functionality would be the kidneys. And you would look at that in SNF2. In terms of how the kidneys perform, they perform by pressure filtration. So a fluctuation in blood pressure could cause the kidneys to malfunction. Okay, so if the kidneys malfunction, you could have toxins being recirculated in the blood, this could lead to sepsis. When sepsis occurs, this could lead to further organ failure. So it's always important to recognize that while we do have separate organ systems, it's very important to appreciate that they are interrelated. So form and function. So here we are seeing two very important things related to the form when you're looking at the human hand. The human hand has that a prehensile thumb. This thumb has the ability to move. And because of that ability of it to move the thumb, it has different functions in particular for grasping. So which is why we are able to write and grasp a pen because of that ability in terms of the form of the thumb. If we didn't have that thumb having that ability to move in the different planes, writing indeed would be difficult. So the building block of life, this is what I just mentioned in terms of from the atoms coming all the way up to the different organ systems. And how many organ systems do we have? I forgot. How many organ systems? 11. 11, 11 organ systems, right? And there's a nice little word to remember it. Unsliced RRM in terms of the organ systems. U-N-S-L-I-C-E-D-R-R-M. Let's see if you could look at those letters and see what they stand for. U 
Well, we mentioned that just now as it related to the kidneys, the urinary system, mm -hmm. and relating to the nervous system. Nervous system. Is that important? Yeah. Very important in terms of detecting things. S related skeletal. to bones, skeletal systems. Then we have related to tissue fluid, L. Lymphatic. The lymphatic system, UNSL. I related to the skin here and nails. Integumentary. Integumentary. That is always a tricky one. Yeah, the integumentary system. Here, skin and nails. UNSLIC. Relating to your heart. Cardiovascular. Right. So circulatory. Now, in some books, you will see circulatory, where, but cardiovascular is a better term. Why is that so? In terms of circulatory systems, you could argue that um, the lymphatic system uh, is a is also a circulatory system. Also, the movement of air through the lungs is also considered another circulatory system. Air is circulated. So where that is concerned, you know, you could make that argument. So that is why cardiovascular is a better term to use where that is concerned. E relating to hormones. Endocrine. Endocrine or endocrine system. U N S L I C E D. Digestive system. Oh, most important. Is the digestive system important? Yes. Just mention the word. Three letters come to mind. What three letters is that? KFC. And I see a lot of people unhappy that KFC raised the price of the chicken, of the uh, mustard and, and, and pepper packet and so on. All right. So what we could do in the... What, what could we do? Well, you could two options. You fry your own chicken or or engage in animal husbandry, like one of your colleagues, or you could um, actually just go and pay them, you know, the extra $2 for the packets. Let's go forward. Digestive system. Our respiratory, respiratory. system. Why do we breathe air? Very simple. Why do we breathe air? What do we do without oxygen? Oxygen is used to do what? Three words. Break down. Food. Food, yeah. That's all we use oxygen for, to break down food. If we didn't have oxygen, we'd have a big problem. And why do we need to break down food? We break down food to make what? One word beginning with E, and it rhymes with Benergy. Scholars, 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 yeah. Right? So that's it. In an, when you look at the body, we breathe in air, and that oxygen actually goes into the cells, into the mitochondria. Sorry, it goes into the cell and in the cytoplasm, you have glycolysis or the breakdown of sugars. And that the, the bio, when it breaks down the sugars, it generates three ATP, which is the currency of energy. So energy is generated in the cell. And then of course the breakdown products are further shuttled into the mitochondria, where you have approximately 26 to 29 ATP being generated. So collectively for each molecule of glucose, you have approximately 32 to 36 units of energy or ATP being generated. And all of that comes from food. So we're looking at sugars and carbohydrates, but you could also derive energy from lipids as well. Right? So there are different pathways where that is concerned in terms of the breakdown of lipids and proteins as well. But mainly we get our energy from carbohydrates and sugars. So that is very important to remember. The reason why we breathe in oxygen is just to break down food. That's what we do. And that if we didn't have oxygen, yeah, that would be a big problem, which is why usually, you know, when oxygen stop, oxygen intake stop, that is when you begin to speak to the ancestors. Digestion, the last D, what does it stand for? Sorry, R, because it's R R M. So reproduction, is reproduction important? Yes. What would happen if we did not reproduce as a species? One word begins with D. We would, and it rhymes. Go extinct. It, yeah, okay, extinct is the, is the proper word. I was thinking about disappear, but extinct is a better term. We would disappear as a species, right? We, we would become extinct. That is why reproduction is so important. We look at that as the second to last uh, topic in uh, SNF2. So R, R, and M, what M relates to? Muscular system. Muscular system, yeah, muscle system. Which three organ system, systems work closely together to bring about movement? 
There are three of them. Which one are they to bring about movement? Muscular, Muscular and skeletal, and nervous. All right, remember that because that usually comes as a question. You need the nerves to innovate or cause the muscles to contract and the muscles are attached to the bone, right? Uh, very important via tendons or bone to bone via um, ligaments. And that brings about movement. So nerves, uh, skeletal, muscular system, those are responsible for bringing about movement. Very good. Let's go forward. Right, so we spoke about these organ systems, all of them. So do remember the word U-N-S-L-I-C-E-D. Just like when you, if you have a bread and you don't cut it, it is unsliced R-R-M, or Mr. R, whichever one you prefer, okay? And we mentioned all of these things. So there's a very important word in biology, which is known as homeostasis. The root of the word stasis means state, and homeo coming from the Greek word homo meaning same. It means same state. Is it, now, why is it important that we have a same state in our body or a constant internal environment in our bodies? Anybody? Hmm. Think about when you go to cost, Kostat, throw back in mind when we had in-person classes. When you go into a classroom, what do you expect to see? They open the door and you go in. What do you expect to, to see or get in the classroom? Desk, chairs, probably a desk, a chairs. Mm -hmm. What else? A lecturer. A lecturer. Oh, yes. Most importantly. Yes, yes, yes. A right. Sign. A, a sign, right? Air condition, right? Mm -hmm. A clean floor. A whiteboard. Know? A whiteboard, right? All of these things. What would happen if you go into a room, no desk, no chairs, no nothing? Would, and then the teacher comes in to, to lecture and let's say he, there's only a, a desk, right? So, okay, fair enough. And he sits down and he begins to teach and you are standing up. Would it be the same? No, because you've just sent the system into an excitatory system, a, a yeah. excitatory state. Your yeah. body can process too much pressure on the organs, I guess. Correct. And now your mind begins to wander, you know? You're only thinking about, oh gosh, these shoes hot in my boy. So then you begin to think, hmm, I wonder what I'm cooking for dinner later, boy. Let me see. I wonder if I take that meat out this morning to throw out, I put it down below in the fridge. Your mind begins to wonder. So in other words, when you don't have an optimal situation in which to perform, things don't go right. And that is why the body, when you look at it, we have certain things that are constant in terms of blood pressure, in terms of temperature, different parameters that are kept at a constant level in order that our body performs optimally. And those that maintenance of the constant internal environment is known as homeostasis, all right? To keep in it at that constant time, such that the body performs optimally, okay? That's very important. So homeostasis, right? And in terms of maintaining this homeostasis, there are two things which is known as negative feedback and positive feedback. Just one thing to note, in terms of maintenance, just remember that the body, um, the majority of its functions relate to negative feedback in terms of keeping things at its optimal levels. Positive feedback only comes in, the, the only time and positive feedback. Positive feedbacks mean you have a stimulus that increases and when the stimulus increases, you continually increase a response to that stimulus. That becomes useful during birthing, right? And when, when you, in terms of the uh, birthing process, it's very important that the uterus contracts. So you have signals coming to you saying, hey, you need to contract the uterus, right? It's sudden. And in terms of the response, what is released? There's a hormone that is released. It begins with O and it rhymes with boxytocin. Oxytocin. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right. Oxytocin is also important for the drawdown of milk, but more importantly, it's very important for the birthing process. It causes the uterine contractions, it causes the uterus to contract. 
So remember, you have this bundle of joy there, and you need to get this bundle of joy out. So the uterus begins to contract. So in terms of the body, it detects, okay, um, uterine, the uterus is contracting more. And in terms of the response to that, it's a positive feedback. The body responds by releasing more oxytocin, causes more contraction of the uterus. And what ultimately happens is the little bundle of joy comes out. All right, so oxytocin in terms of positive feedback, do remember that one as well. Oxytocin is an example of a positive feedback mechanism that occurs in the body itself. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. These are some directional terms and um, at your convenience, it'll be wise for you to go through these and appreciate them in terms of anterior, posterior, forward and back, up and down, close to and further away, more to the midline, more to the outside and more to the inside. So do take note of these directional terms. So planes, right? So the frontal and sagittal plane. So the frontal plane is a plane that runs vertically from superior to inferior. That means from the top down. Sagittal plane, it divides structures into left and right parts. So sagittal, right, comes across. Um, for those of us who follow uh, the signs of the zodiac, what is Sagittarius? Anybody? Central. Sagittarius. Is it a... Um, Sagittarius? A central, is a, half, a central? Man, half, 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 right. So half, half, which is why the sagittal plane, it divides things into two, uh, left and right uh, parts. All right, so it's down the center, sagittal, so do take note of that. Cross sections cut by this plane, right, down the middle, sagittal plane. So this is us showing, again, um, the points which we looked at up here in terms of the directional terms. These are showing it a little more enlarged. Transverse and oblique. So these diagrams here, just pay attention to them in terms of your revision. Transverse. So here's our good friend sagittal cutting down the middle, cutting you into a left and a right. Frontal, it goes across, also known as coronal. Right, so for those of us who, um, when you think about a corona, is a crown going from right to, you know, or a tiara, right? You wear a tiara, it goes from right to left. So the frontal or coronal plane, it goes this way, whereas the sagittal comes right down the middle. Right, the other one is regions of the body. Mm, you don't have to put too much emphasis on this. You will look, there's a nursing course, which you will be taking later on that actually um, gets into all of these details of these different cavities. For the purpose of this course, the ones which are important are the thoracic, abdominal, and pelvic regions. Just take note of their, uh, where they are located. The other cavities, cranial, spinal, thoracic, abdominal, and pelvic. These are shown here. What would you find in the cranial cavity? The brain, correct, and the spinal cavity. Spinal cord. Yeah. Is there a break between the brain and the spine, or, uh, or is it continuous? Is the brain continuous with the spine, or is there a little break right here? There's no break, sir. Is that continuous? You sure? You sure? Let's I get... think so. I think from the... It comes straight down and no break. Well, actually, you're quite right. There is no break. What would happen if you had a break in the spinal cord? One word begins with P and rhymes with paralysis. <laughs> yeah, you'll be paralyzed or paralysis, right? Depending on where it occurs, right? Because you have dermatomes or you have different nerves, that spinal nerves that come off at different points. So depending on where you have that break, it will cause paralysis at different areas. So do remember the brain is continuous with the spinal cord. Here you have your thoracic cavity, diaphragm. Diaphragm is an important muscle associated with which organ system? Respiratory. So, um, yes, Res respiratory. Very good. 
I hear you, you, you said lungs, but then you're saying to yourself, wait, lungs is not an organ system. Let me think about that. Yes, so most definitely, diaphragm most is very, very important for the respiratory system. Right? All right. So now, what, here we are seeing membranes and cavities associated with the different organs. So both the lungs and the heart, they have a pericardium or a layer, fluid-filled layer around it. Now, why do you have this layer around the heart? Let's look at the location of the heart as it relates to the lungs. It sits in front of the lungs. What would not remember the heart is beating, boom, is moving, doom, do, 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 is moving in the mediastinum. The mediastinum is the space between the lungs, right? Is moving. What what would happen? Now remember, it's sitting right, right. Actually, there's a space. It sits, there's a liver really behind there. It sits right next to there. What usually happens when something is close by and rubs on something? There's something is a word beginning with F. Friction. 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 Right. And is it a problem when something keeps rubbing on, on something in terms of friction? What eventually mm -hmm. happens when well, friction, damage. it causes it damage? Mm -hmm. Is it a problem if the heart got worn away, let's say, and begins to leak? Will that be a problem? Yes. What would yes. that affect in particular? If the heart begins to leak, which parameter, measurable parameter, would it affect BP? Yes. Your blood, blood pressure? Yeah. Blood pressure. Yeah, mm -hmm. your blood pressure. Because one of the things is when the heart beats, it builds up a certain amount of pressure in terms of the blood. When we look at this, so there's the aorta here. When we look at the pressure of the blood coming out of the heart, what is it? I'll give you a hint. It's 120 over. 80. 80. 80, right, very good. So it comes out here at 120 over 80. If there was a hole, it would begin to drop. And what would happen? Well, you have different feedback mechanisms that tells the brain, hello, blood pressure dropping. So what would happen? Well, it would, it would then look to increase the okay. beating of the heart. So the heart begins to beat more. And this is where you get a very vicious circle. It's leaking and it's beating more. So more blood coming out or hemorrhaging and <laughs> your blood, your pressure, the heart recognizes, look, I'm beating faster. Nothing is happening because I'm still losing blood. It keeps beating faster and faster and faster until it reaches a point where it goes into fibrillation. It no longer beats, is actually quivering and that's when a heart actually stops. So to prevent friction from eating away at the um, wall of the heart, you have this fluid filled vessel, right? And it surrounds the heart and you also have it around the lungs that prevents that friction from occurring. It's very, think about if you have a balloon filled with water, a small balloon, and you push your fist into it, right? And that is exactly how this fluid filled membrane surrounds the heart and it prevents friction from occurring, thereby extending the life of the heart. Yeah, okay. All right, the last thing in terms of which I'll let you know, again, the quadrants, abdominal quadrants to take note of. You have the right and left, right and left, lower and upper quadrants. And you also have the hypochondriac, epigastric, umbilical. Umbilical, why do they call this region the umbilical region? Anybody? Because that's where the umbilical cord Right, and therefore your belly button there's another name for belly button related to the word umbilical anybody knows it so is it navel navel that is true right but using the word umbilical actually changing these two letters on the end what's another name for your belly button umbilical what you're saying it don't make sense i teach very good so another name for your belly button is the umbilicus right but you don't really hear the word but they don't really use that term a lot they say belly button instead all right, so the umbilicus, very important. That is the remnants of the umbilical cord. You will look more at that when we look at um, reproduction. That is an SNF2. All right, so what did we look at today? Well, we looked at, we did an introduction where everybody um, introduced themselves to the course. 
and, and also to their colleagues. And then we also mentioned certain issues arising relating to the lab. And I will get back to you all on that as it relates to the lab. Lab starts on the 4th of April, do take note, right? When we look to accommodate everybody, you know, as it relates to timing and so on. So as time progresses, we'll, we'll clear that up. After that, we looked at um, general issues. We mentioned that we would want to start a WhatsApp group and somebody, um, is it Anissa, general, generously agreed to do it and she has sent it out in terms of the link. So thanks very much Anissa for doing that. That WhatsApp group will be a means of communicating among ourselves. Um, I, I, I asked to be graciously to be added to the group. I will have no control over the group. I wouldn't berate anybody. You could feel free to say whatever you want in that group and it will not be held against you. Okay, I'm just a member and I am not contributing as it relates to the running of the group at all. It's just a means for me to quickly communicate with you and get feedback as well in a very timely fashion. Then we went on to the lecture itself after mentioning how, um, in terms of how the class runs um, from the perspective of the e-classroom going in every week, what is expected of you is just to follow the instructions on the, what, is, what is expected of the student. So one, you're expected you know, to just look at the lecture. As mentioned, the lecture will be posted the week before the class itself. All the lectures are already recorded, but notwithstanding that there will be situations like today where I will come in and actually have a live lecture with you. So that is very important to take note of. Notwithstanding that, just read, read through the other items. And also there will be an exercise for you to do, uh, fill out. As it currently stands, you'll be doing it individually. But once we form the groups, you will be doing it collectively. People will come together. And I know one way with some students do it as, um, what they do is that they just, um, you know, have everybody contribute a bit to the, um, the final document itself. Then we went to today's lecture as it relates to um, the introduction for the course itself. We mentioned the components, the basic components and the organization of the body as it relates to anatomy and physiology, structure and function. Mentioned how the simplicity of the body starting from chemicals then arranges itself up to the level of organ systems. 11 organ systems, which could be represented by the word unsliced RRM, urinary nervous, skeletal, lymphatic, integumentary, cardiovascular, endocrine, digestive, reproductive, respiratory, and muscular system. These 12, 11 organ systems comprise the entire body and the importance of it. In terms of feedback mechanisms, which regulate the homeostatic or constant environment located within the body itself, the homeostatic mechanism is regulated by both negative and positive feedback, negative dominate the control of them and positive feedback in terms of them, they're, they're about two or three. And the one we did mention was oxytocin, a hormone that is released in response to uterine contractions. And this actually increases uterine contractions leading to the delivery of the bundle of joy. So this is an example of a positive feedback which facilitates homeostatic uh, maintenance in the body itself. We then looked at the different uh, regions of the body and how the body could be divided up. It's very important in particular when you get into surgery in terms of location of different organs. And with that, we'll stop the lecture for today. Any questions? Any questions? No question, sir. No question? No, sir. All right. Let me just stop. Yes, sir. Yes, one second. I'm just stopping the recording.